Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nanny, in case you are new here, or welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my book recommendations of books that I've read recently and kind of just books that I think you should read to help your life. Without further ado, I'm not going to drag this on any longer. I'm going to get started with my favorite books. The first book that I have is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. This is like a classic book that gets recommended left and right, but here I am recommending it to you as well. I think this is kind of like the first book that got me started on like the self-help self-help book kick and I really enjoyed this book a lot you know to be honest I really can't remember like every single tip in here or whatever but I think it's a really great book to get started on like self-help books in general if you're looking to get into that area and I remember really enjoying this book and not being able to put it down when I was reading it the second book that I have is also a self-help book and it is Atomic Habits by James Clear this book has been like an Amazon bestseller for over a hundred weeks or something like that. I don't even remember. It was something crazy when I saw it on Amazon. But I always heard the hype about this book and I never ordered it until I saw another YouTuber recommend it and I was finally like, oh my god, finally I'll just order it and see what the hype is about. I think I finished this book in like three days. It was so good, I could not put it down. And it is so dense with information. So if you're looking to get rid of bad habits, start new habits, even though it's not like the beginning of the year or New Year's resolution time, there's never a wrong time to start implementing good habits into your life. I would definitely recommend this book. As you can tell, I put post-it notes where I thought there was important information. And there's literally like over 20 post-it notes in this book because I found so much information in this book. This was a really good read. I actually cannot stress enough how much I enjoyed this book. I think it was like the best book that I've read so far this year. So I really, really recommend this to anyone who is interested in changing the behaviors in their life. If you find yourself like stuck in bad habit loops that you can't get out of, like this is definitely a book that you can consider. I was reading this while I was implementing my new morning routine and it really helped with understanding the habits and understanding how habits are formed and how they continue and how I can stop them before they become like bad habits basically. So this is like my top recommendation for sure. The next book that I have, I don't have a paper copy of it because I read it on my Kindle, but it is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. So I read this because Ava Jewel recommended it and it was also really high rated on Amazon. Oh my god, it was so good. So it is like a mystery kind of uh, fiction book that is about a murder mystery that happens at a high school and it follows six kids that are like witnesses to the murder basically. I could not put this book down when I was reading it. I literally finished it in like two days. It was so good. Yeah, I feel like I, could, and I don't have better descriptions other than it was so good, but typically I don't lean towards mystery books and I'm kind of skeptical with other authors, but this one was definitely a really good book and I'm looking forward to reading the sequel afterwards. The next book that I have is called Anxious People by Frederick Backman. This book I went in kind of not really sure what the book was about. It is a fiction book as well. So with Anxious People, I wasn't really sure what to expect with this book. I actually kind of thought it was going to be like short stories about people talking about about their mental health and recounting stories about their anxiety and stuff like that but I was very pleasantly surprised by this book. The plot is basically about a hostage situation that occurs in an apartment viewing and although it, it's supposed to like you think it's a mystery book it's actually quite centered around the characters that are in the book as well and a lot of the characters teach you a lot of lessons about just that everyone is going through something and you really never know what people are going through until you get to know them. I really enjoyed this book and I found it really like helpful and like touching that there were so many good messages within a fiction story which I really enjoyed. Oftentimes I find that self-help books that tell you a lot of morals and teach you a lot of lessons, they kind of seem a little detached from reality because they never really talk about applying them to a real life situation or to people in real life, but I found that anxious people 
you found the lessons within getting to know the characters and I found it a lot more like touching and inspiring that way. The next book recommendation that I have is a self-help book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F by Mark Manson. This is a great book. Uh, it is also a classic book that everyone recommends and stuff like that, but I found it really helpful when I was taking notes on this book and I look back and it just teaches you a lot of great lessons about how to graft yourself and not give an F about others and what they think of you. I'm still learning that obviously in my life, but it is a great book to get kind of kickstarted on finding your own identity and being yourself in this huge world of like millions of people. The next book that I have is called Loneliness, Human Nature and the Need for Social Connection by John Cachipio, Cachipio, Kachopu, I don't know, and William Patrick. To be honest, I didn't love this book as much as I loved all the other books that I'm recommending. Like, this one did take a bit of motivation to kind of read through, but I think that the topic and what the book is centered on is really important for everyone to read and understand. Basically, as the title suggests, um, this book delves deeper into the feeling of loneliness and why we might feel lonely, what causes it, the biological like basis of loneliness in every human being, and I think it is really important for everyone to understand these concepts because obviously I felt this myself in quarantine. I feel like I never see my friends and I never really talk to them and I feel lonely as anyone would in this time. And sometimes loneliness makes us feel really bad about ourselves. Like, oh, why aren't we good enough to have friends that we can lean on? And why do I feel like even though I have a lot of friends, like I still feel lonely and I'm not supported. Like these are all really natural feelings and through learning and reading this book, I learned a lot about the feeling of loneliness and how really it's just like hunger. Hunger tells you when your stomach is hungry and when you need to eat food. Loneliness is a feeling just like that. It tells you when you are deprived of social connection and when you just want some. It doesn't matter about like how good you are or if you're good enough for other people. Loneliness is really just a natural feeling that occurs in all of us. So give that book a read. There is a YouTube video that I watched before reading the loneliness book and I found it really helpful in kind of giving me like an introduction to the book and the concept so I'll link it down below. I forget the YouTube channel name but it's really like the complicated one but they have really nice animations and stuff. So yeah that's a really good book. I did find it a little, it was very long and also just like not as motivating to read it but I really did enjoy it and I thought it was a very good book. The next book that I have to recommend is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I read this a long time ago actually. I think I read it last summer so I don't really remember a ton about what is happening in this book but I do know it is about like how knowledge is passed down through books and shared in information and books like stuff that and it kind of delves into the idea of what if we didn't have books and what if they weren't allowed and what what if it just wasn't a normal part of society so I thought it was really interesting it is a fiction book and I really enjoyed it so definitely give it a read it is like a classic book I hear so it is definitely one that you should check off your list the last book that I'm going to recommend is the book that I am currently reading, which is The Authenticity Project by Claire Pooley. This book is also a fiction book. I like to kind of intersperse my reading by doing like a self-help book and then a fiction book and then self-help and then fiction, just so I'm not like totally bored of the genres, but I do really enjoy this book. It is about a... Um, a bunch of people who want to be more authentic and get to know each other through this notebook that gets passed around the city and everyone writes down their real life story in it and it's just a really cool book I really enjoy it right now I think I'm like a little bit over halfway through and I've really enjoyed it and you get to learn a lot about the characters and I really enjoy like being able to understand the struggles of the characters through the book if that makes sense I don't really know but I do really enjoy this book and I think it's only been like three days and I'm almost done so those are all of my book recommendations I've never really done a video like this but I thought I would because I've been reading a lot recently and I do really enjoy the books that I read so let me know if you want more book recommendations in the future I might do this like every few months once I finish reading like five to ten books 
it's been my goal to read at least one book per month in 2021 and I think I'm on like my sixth book of the year so I'm really proud of myself for keeping this up and just reading a lot because it is a lot better of a way to spend your time than like scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or whatever. But I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe if you want to. I will see you in my next video. Bye. And I was like, yo.